in chapter 10 of Robinson Crusoe, time passes, and it's now been five years on the island. Robinson builds a new canoe and a canal to push it into the water, but he gets caught between currents and he gets brought back to the shore. He wakes up to a voice. Poor Robin Crusoe, where have you been? Where have you been? It's the voice of Pole the parrot. The experience deters him from making more explorations by water. Then it's the 11th year on the island. Robinson plans to domesticate goats and traps three kids in a pit. After a year, three have multiplied to a dozen, and after two, there are 43. The flock provides meat and milk, and Robinson plans to make butter and cheese. Robinson Crusoe still has moments of weakness and doubt. He's built a new, smaller canoe, but has no plans to use this boat to escape. Even sailing short distances gives Crusoe a sense of freedom, and building the boat reveals that Crusoe continues to yearn for adventure and discovery. But Providence has other plans and scares him after his close call with the currents. It seems as if the entire incident took place to remind Crusoe to be grateful for what he has. The parrot's words to Crusoe reveal much about his state of mind on the island. He writes that he is mostly content, but the parrot's words indicate that he's lonely and longs for companionship.